hello, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you know this, but I've been this for a while now. And uh, we're on episode 8. I'm only slowly going insane. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's been a ride. As you can guess from me hyping up Ash as the best character, this episode concludes Ash's kind of uh, arc at not his like true emo emotional arc yet, but it's like concluded he roll by Rose. So the Gios gets broken. Uh, there's kind of the all is lost moment. Um, to be fair, it's not as clear that trope. Instead, it's just like we're copying Code Gios, which I don't know if it makes sense. But uh, yeah, um, and then uh, what you call it? Uh, oh, uh, annoying guy gets um, so that's good. Uh, the annoying old guy who like I don't like. He's annoying, and I don't like him. And yeah, uh, but that's yeah. So yeah, um, episode overall though was uh, rather fun, and uh, you know there's nothing really crazy about it. But yeah. I would say uh, I'm starting to enjoy the series more and more as, you know, time goes on. Not, okay, so obviously, how do I explain this? You guys know, at the very beginning, I was pretty positive, but I did have some major issues. And then the middle section happened, and it was kind of bad. And I got, and now since we're heading to the final, you know, the final jazz thing of a bobber, I'm going like, hey, this is pretty good. That's basically, that's basically what's happening, right? And, you know, I've just, like, been excited for this. I haven't really hated it enough to, like, justify me throwing it away or anything. But, yeah, it's, it's um, I do need to be honest. Man, it does have some big flaws. One of the, oddly enough, one of the most, like, recent flaws that just kind of hit me be oh this this cat was uh dog i just remembered like the main villain exists and like i could not give less of a shit like i'm gonna be frank like i do not care okay like i don't unfortunately the main villain just ain't interesting he just ain't and like he's he, he literally, like, he's interesting because of Ash. That's true. But, like, nothing else. Like, so kind of like, huh, what do we do now? And, you know, obviously I'm not, I'm, I'm trying not to hate it too much, but it, it does suck, right? Like, like let's, let's be frank, it's not exactly great when your main villain doesn't have much stage presence and i don't know like comparing him to the emperor naturally just makes him feel bad but there's not really anything i you know there's not really anything to do about you know like that's that's my thing you may notice like now my opinion about the show is just kind of like eh like like at the end of the day it's more code geos content i am enjoying it but it's not fantastic, right? But, you know, you just gotta live with it. And, you know, you gotta deal with it, right? <sighs> I don't know. As you can all tell, I'm kind of losing. Obviously, doing these weekly reviews. I wouldn't say it's taxing. It's just kind of weird. Like, I do need to know your guys' opinions on what is coming up later. I plan to... Initially, my thought was to review all 12 episodes and then have an actual series, series review when I finish the whole thing. But then I thought maybe I could also just combine all these reviews together in like one mega review that has every episode. But I feel like it doesn't work as well, considering that, you know, I do like. I don't know what's going to happen. Within the episode, no. I can only so much. Uh, thinking, um, I do want to get your guys' personal opinions on that. Just because, like, hey. Be like, hey, dude. I want you to do... The, I want a full series review. Because then you can go in-depth. Or, no, I don't care. You've already talked about this. 
move on to something else. Go back to power scaling, release Modera vs. Marine Ford 2. Um, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, just just give me your opinion. Uh, also, I, I joke about the Modera vs. Marine Ford 2, but that does actually exist, so... I hope you guys are ready for that. I, I need to... I'm, I'm still working on it, um, obviously. Uh, but... It, it's going well. And by that, I mean the script is done. But my mental sanity ha ha is not finished, so... Um, anyway, yeah. So, uh... Jeez. I think... I think that's everything. So, you know, obviously these are getting shorter and shorter with time. If you look at have you the shows now and how I review them first, and then you look at my One Piece chapter review content, you'll see a very similar pattern. So, um, I probably will not be doing this later in the future, except for maybe Volume 10? Um, just because... If, if enough people like these episode reviews, I will continue to do them for everything. Uh, not everything, but for a lot of stuff. And I just want to get your guys' opinions on that. You see how I act. Like, this is clearly not my forte. I'm more good at talking about things as a whole. Um, just because I have more general information on it. And it allows me to break down things much better because I can relate it to early or later parts in the show. Which I can't really do considering this episode is dedicated to just eight. But anyway, I know I've been rambling a lot, but that's just it. This episode was good and there's not much else I can say about it, you know? Um, anywho, uh, I'm glad you got to join me for this. I did have an enjoyable time. And without further ado, folks, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.